All right, homies, what's going on? Uh, today we're working on a 2007 Honda Civic Hybrid with 142,000 miles. And um, real quick, I just wanna make a quick video. I just changed the CKP sensor on this car and there has to be, um, there's a relearn procedure that has to be done. So I wanna show you guys real quick with this Auto Maxisys. All right, so many of you guys are always asking about scanners and which ones are good. What's, good, uh, what's a good scanner for the price? Uh, what do you want a scanner to do? And honestly, for the price, this Auto Maxisys is one of the best scanners that I've found. This scanner is a bi-directional scanner. Um, it pretty much does every car you can think of. And um, I just wanna, real quick, I just wanna show you guys a, a crank reading procedure for this 2007 Honda Civic Hybrid. And um, I, I think in the future I'll be making a video comparing different scanners, code readers, uh, scanners that can do ABS, bi-directional control, and all that. But for now, let's get to this crank right, reader. So the way it's done on this car, we go over to Honda, system selection. This is a Japan built car. So we're gonna wait for this to load up and then um, we'll take it step by step. I'll show you how easy it is to use this scanner. This scanner will probably run you about maybe $2,000, but it's well worth the money. So, um, Let's just wait for this to load up. Here we go, we're gonna go under diagnosis, control unit, cause I know we're going straight to the engine control module, or ECM. And we're gonna look for this right here. It says adjustment. You look at everything you can do. Read, erase, code, redness, freeze frame, ECM reset, live data, inspection. That's for like oil light resets. But we're looking for this adjustment right here. And the only adjustment that we have on this car is this crank pattern. And we have a crank pattern reel, uh, clear, and we have a, a relearn. So when you have, after you change the, the CKP, you wanna go ahead and clear the, the data that's stored in the memory, and then you wanna go ahead and learn the new data. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. And um, let's take it from there. All right, so basically what I'm doing right here is I'm gonna do a crank relearn procedure. And this has to be done anytime According to the scanner, it says anytime you fix a misfire or you replace a crank sensor. So right now I replace a crank sensor. I changed the CKP on this 2007 Honda Civic Hybrid. Uh, there was a code P0335 and the signal was intermittently dropping out. So I went ahead and changed the sensor. Now I wanna show you guys how uh, I'm going to uh, relearn the crank, but one of the one of the criteria um, that the car has to meet is it has to be 167 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm only at 152. So right now I'm revving up the engine to keep it between 2,000 and 3,000 RPM. And um, once that temperature is reached, we're gonna be able to relearn the crank. Okay, so we're back. It says release the throttle, so I'm gonna hit OK. The engine's idling. It says depress the accelerator all the way down until fuel cut release the accelerator pedal so it's just one quick throttle turn the ignition switch off I'm gonna turn that off right now and then it's gonna prompt me to turn the switch back on now switch on is when all the lights are on on the dash now we're gonna start the engine Engine's running we're gonna wait and uh, the new CKP position is gonna be learned into the ECM or ECU or PCM or whatever you want to call it um, yeah, so this scanner that I'm using is the Autel Maxisys, and uh, I've used it before in one of my videos. Um, I think I'm going to make another video talking about scanners and which scanner is good for what application, um, how much do you want to spend from a basic code reader to a bi-directional scanner. There you go. CKP pattern learning has completed. So. Just a quick video, wanted to show you guys a quick procedure and um, next video uh, that I'm gonna make is gonna be talking about scanners. Now, the reason I like this one is because it has everything built into it. I mean, this is, it's a cheap scanner. It does a lot for the price and it pretty much does every car you can think of. I mean, I never even heard of this Pirodua, Proton, Tata, Tata, Scion, Mazda, Lexus, of course, we had Honda, Hyundai, Hyundai, CV, Infiniti, Daihatsu, Daewoo, Acura, Maserati, Ford. Um, I mean, this is, 
if you're gonna be looking for a scanner for your check engine light this is probably gonna be the one to go I mean if I could start over from the beginning and this scanner was available when I started I would have gone with this one so thanks for watching guys I'll see you on the next video thanks for watching